Hi and welcome to the show. My guest today has a great passion for engineering and holds degrees from South Africa and Germany. She was a recipient of the International Youth Foundation's Global Leadership Fellowship in 2009 and one of the Mail and Guardian magazine's top 300 South Africans you want to have lunch with. Nadia Musaji, welcome to The Scoop. Nadia, Thanks it's so a real much. pleasure. <laughs> it's a real pleasure having you here. Thank you for your time. Career choices, I mean, you, so, so you did high school, did all that in South Africa. You moved from Johannesburg to Cape yes. Town. So my sister chose to become a doctor and everybody understood what that was. And I, it was really difficult for me because I wanted to be a lawyer, um, mm. you know, um, because I spoke a lot. Because um, this is how much career awareness you have is because you watch Ali McBeal on TV and you're like, oh, I want to be a lawyer like her. Mm. Um, urban engineering was about people and how do we create better cities for people. And I fell in love with that. So it was an interesting time for South Africa because we had um, been awarded the World Cup. And at the time, um, FIFA had an opening um, for, um, to, part, to be part of the transport team to run the VIP transport operations for the Cape Town Stadium. Um, and got the job. Um, and but now this, you have a degree in transport engineering, you know, yes. from a, a reputable big university in Germany. But you're going to go and help organize moving people around. But this was about fun. Talk to me about women in engineering. This is something that's very close to your heart. How did you start it off? So as female engineers entering the industry, we realized that there were certain issues that, we, that all women were facing. Um, and so it was, you know, issues around the lack of mentorship. Also, let's start creating socially conscious engineers who understand the issues on the African continent. Engineering is not this um, career for boys that, you know, it's hard hats and boots and you've got to be really strong because you're lifting heavy mm. things, mm. right? You're doing some heavy lifting with your mind. Um, and anybody can do that. And you're also creating leaders. Yeah. I mean, you're a leader yourself, you're creating leaders. But there's a lot of problems with leadership in, in Africa. And a lot of it, I think, has to do with the fact that there's not enough women in leadership positions. How do we change that? Um, I always said that if there's more women who were presidents and leaders in the world, the world would have less wars because mm. we'd spend more money on, on development. Um, and I you know, think of Joyce Bender mm. you know, as mm. a prime example, was like, no, I don't need a new jet, mm. but my people are starving, so I need to do, you know, invest in my people. Um, we need more presidents who are like that. The show's called The Scoop. <laughs> so I asked all my guests to tell me something about them that hopefully nobody knows. And my favorite thing in the world um, Nadia, thank you again. Oh, thanks so really, much. Really, really appreciate your time and, 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 and you coming to talk to us. And for sharing and some, some great stories. 